Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back to Control. This is episode 2. Last time we started the game, became the director of the FBC, and uh, we've been navigating the oldest house, where we've gotten to a point where we've had to pull this light switch three times to end up in a motel uh, of sorts with uh, very interesting iconography on each of the doors uh, but it looks like we're headed towards uh, you guessed it our pointy triangle door so I'm very excited to get back into control and see what kind of weird events we're going to get ourselves into so let's proceed exactly uh, where we left off I guess we'll check this door first before we push further into the motel but apparently it's like something oh Oh, no. Okay. Apparently it's like something like reorganized from a dream. This area, like an amalgamation of a bunch of places that uh, Jesse has stayed in the past. Look at this lighting. This is incredible. I love this with like the dust particles in the air. Oh, this is really cool. I love this kind of stuff. This is awesome. See America. I like to I like to actually look and uh, and check my my environments. See if we can get any uh, gleam any details from it on what we can see on the side. But uh, the the way that they've handled the lighting through the windows is so good. Hello. Hello. Oh. Anyone here? Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, that's weird. There's three doors that open. Oh, that's fucking weird. I thought I glimpsed that correctly. Which door should we go through first? I think this one... I think this door was the one that opened up first, so let's try this one. Oh, these ones have numbers on them, not symbols. 222. Okay, nothing. Clocks do not move in real time. Fortunately, it looks like all clocks are stopped. Door number two! 225? 224. Oh, okay, they're not opposite each other. Wait. Yes, they are. 224. And then the next door is 227? Yeah, the next door that opens is 227. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no, it just opens up these three on this side. So 226. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so bizarre. The key has a black pyramid on it. Oh, well. I wonder what that means. Ew. Open sesame. Oh, uh, and we've got the, uh, okay, so we go into the, so we were on the outside of the, of that room, the chamber, the hotline chamber, um, do this, take us to the motel, and then we do this again to take us through to the other side, oh, that's so, that's so weird, this is, and I love how it's playing on the sort of description and stuff that we were getting from, uh, the first episode where, you know, talk about, like, the, you know, you've got your room, and the room is the world, but what's behind the painting? Is it a whole other world? It's looking like it. One, two, three. Think so. Th a lot of things. A lot of things are happening in threes. A lot of things happening in threes, with like the ringing the bell and then doing the light switch three times in that area. Oh, 
the hotline C shows a transmitter bridge. Directors can call the board long distance. Another astral plane challenge. Is that the hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities? Oh, ah! <laughs> like it'll allow me to contact it so I can go up to it and what, like, talk to it? No, it's gonna attack me. Okay, hang on a minute. Um, instru instructions unclear. Do I walk into it? I thought it was doing damage to me. Oh shit! I'm, never mind. I'll just fall to my death instead. We're, we're off to a we're off to a great start. Uh, the hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. No, oh, it's hurting me. I'm dead. I'm not sure if this this pop up that's telling me to I don't I'm having a I'm having a dumb moment, but um the pop the pop up is like it allows you to contact extra dimensional entities and it pops up as you're looking at this thing. I'm like, am I just supposed to ignore this and try and run past it because it's not doing any damage to it? Uh, I'm not doing any damage to it, but it is killing me. I don't know if we should just be avoiding it. See, it pops up here. The hotline will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. Okay. And how do we do that? I think I might just have to avoid this and then just get to the end. And then that's how I'll be able to contact extra dimensional entities. It's just a weirdly timed pop up, I assume. It makes me, it has like led me to believe that I should be like trying to like, I don't know if this is like a thing that I could like make contact with, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's what I was assuming there. But it's just an obstacle course and I just have to avoid them. <laughs> Sorry guys, we, you gotta allow myself a grace period of um, being, being dumb at the beginning of a playthrough. You can contact us past selves in the hotline collectibles menu. Compulsive weekly calls. Yeah, there's a grace period of dumb moments, guys. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. A director needs a team, my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. She sees right through me. She knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. But things change when you become director. I have a thought like I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. He feels more like an echo. An echo with important info. I need to get back to Emily. So, people react strongly when I tell them about you. Is it too soon to tell Emily? She might be able to help. Uh, <laughs> so we have a hotline we can communicate with like past selves. 
um, which is how we can have communication with Trench. Very interesting. So the hotline, an object of power. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. It's a 1960s era red baker light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. The phone weighs blank. The object allows the director to communicate with the blank. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal blank. The object is currently bound to director trench. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests will run on the object, including blank and blank, but its origins remain unknown. Okay. Interesting. Multimedia, that's obviously just the hotline video. Uh, actually, there might be a, this might be a full version because it did the same thing with um, the object of power before. Let's just check. Yeah, I think this, this is a full version. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up, going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is, under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. Hmm. That is, uh, that's an interesting one, huh? Uh, the hotline. Okay, so there's a bunch here. So, collectibles, hotline, control points. Oh, okay, hold on. It took us a long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We've discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling was right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? Has he been compromised? Interesting. So we're getting like these these flashes or these points from uh, from Trench, which is really interesting. Okay. Well, let's listen to what he has to say. I think the hotline is the one that we've just listened to or got before, but this might be the uh, the full version. So we'll listen to this as well. I can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams, constantly ringing, ringing so loud I can't hear the voice I'm straining to understand. Why don't I pick up? It's a secure line of communication with the board. They would tell me what I need to know. Do I fear their answers? Would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. A traitor in our midst, a conspiracy plotted right behind me. I can't trust anyone. I must assume all my intel has been manipulated. The hotline is the only channel I can trust. Bind it. Control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. It can't be tampered with. The lifeline to the astral plane and the board. I must seek guidance. Soon. I'll rest first. I'm so tired. Always tired now, but I must reach the hotline. I think I'm under attack. An attack of dementia, exhaustion. It's a brain cloud making me forget. The hotline. 
I must reach the hotline. Very interesting. In this one as well, in the control points one, uh, Trench mentions that Northmore came behind for him, and Northmore was the first one to interact with the phone. So I think that means that there were only two directors before us, and we are the third now. If I can, if I, it seems that that's the takeaway that I can I can get from that. A director needs a team my management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. They have proven themselves. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially, my head of operations. This is the one that we heard before. She, she knows I don't like relying on people. The only person you should fail is yourself. So I followed my own orders. Northmore hated my guts for that. But things change when you become director. You suddenly see this dark void for the horror show it truly is. Filled with screaming fear we pretend to control. Sand leaks through my fingers. The roses I pruned in the garden back when I still had a family. All dead. Heat escapes my body. My thoughts are scattered. The universe keeps expanding. I can't keep up with it alone. When I forget that, things go wrong. And my team has to pick up the pieces. Damage control. To help me get out of my mess. Interesting. So we're like the cutscenes uh, in the game. They give us like these flashes of like those, uh, you know, um, little information packets and and like a shortened version of this one. But you need to actually go into the collectibles and view it to get like the full version. They're giving you a condensed version um, during the gameplay, and then if you go in the menu, you can get the full thing. The Ocean View Motel and Casino is a familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country, back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The Ocean View operates on dream logic and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained in dreamscape navigation even bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid the rest the many other doors are still mysteries to us. We're all merely guests there. Wow. Even the board. Sometimes I need to visit just to breathe easier for a while. It beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. <laughs> so that is the only door that is known to uh that is known to everyone at this point something's coming the whisper is growing louder the worst winter storm in bureau history retribution for my sins our sins this threat could destroy the bureau everything i've built destroy me a web spun, turning this place against me. I catch glimpses of it in the corner of my eye. It's just out of reach. Elusive. It's clever. A perverse game of hide-and-seek. Is this part of an attack? Obfuscating the facts. Dimming my eyes. It's hard to tell. I need answers. I haven't heard back from Darling. I fear for my friend, my closest ally. I think we made a terrible mistake all those years ago. 
That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Control. He said the name of the game. And one last more lucky last uh, for the board, the directorship. Well, uh, we obviously don't want to let, uh, we don't want to let, you know, uh, memos and stuff like this get uh, too out of control because then we have to go through them all and I want to be want to be thorough because there's a lot of interesting information in here there's a lot of sort of stuff that doesn't make sense to us at the moment which is uh, like intentionally being like mysterious um, but like there's a lot of a lot of decent stuff in here that's getting explained as well the last one oh, this is only 18 seconds that's fine <laughs> you are the director now Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we might have, you know, independence, dependence, you are authority, chosen one. The Bureau game needs you. Okay, good. So that's communication from the board, this is communication from Trench, as it says there. Wonderful, okay, now we can play the game. Eee! We go to run to Emily and go, Emily, there's a guy in my head and he's playing the video game Control. This is none of this is real. It's all a big trip. Oh, hang on. Did we just open a shortcut to the director's office? Oh, nice. The blood is still on the ground. Where's Trench at? The blood is all still here. Where's Trenchy boy? Correspondence. Trench. Bureau funding. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the US Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't even there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms in how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zachariah Trench, Director of Federal Bureau of Control. Um, and then we need to go to the boardroom. Okay, so we're opening up more places, which is nice, and in a way where it's not like aggressive. Yeah, nice. Hey, yeah. And then we can also fast travel through these control points anyway. Um, where is Emily? Emily, what's up? I got Jesse, news for you. Did you. you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The hiss? I... Sorry. You made it. I'm glad. Emily? Let's talk. Of course. Let's talk. First, I'm going to read this note on the table. Uh, initial impressions. Summary. Um, so, compiled by Emily Pope. Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRE devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the other hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physio physiology becomes reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. Okay. Let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. 
your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well. And all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you. I mean, I would love to run some tests on you. If you agree, that is. We could find out something that would help us. Tests? I don't know. She might find out about you. But I wouldn't mind understanding more myself. Okay. If you think it will help. Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. Interesting. Okay. The janitor, Auntie. Dude. <laughs> the music build up to that is so cool. So cool! So cool! New mission, directorial override. God, that, that middle room is giving me like Midgar reactor vibes. I am in love. All right, we're searching for a way into the maintenance sector. We've got um, another one on the hotline from the board. Board countermeasures. We are at war. Hostile takeover. The hiss is the opposing force. Foreign power. We will provide countermeasures. Strategy. Accept, ingest them at control points. These countermeasures missions will benefit you. We will give resources, rewards for each completed countermeasure. Cool. Good stuff. Love to see it. Hi, Jesse. Obviously, these are all greyed out, so we have gotten this information before, but she was marked with a red triangle, so I was wondering if there was anything new. Thanks, Emily. I'm <laughs> sure I'll have more questions soon. Hi. Bye. Interesting. So it marks her as if there's new information to come from her, but then it's just the same greyed out questions that we had previously asked. There you go. All right, let's Anything? find a way. Someone's singing. Where's it coming from? Uh, you sure that's not just you? Are you hearing that singing? Is that just you? Singing. Sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Oh, well now I can hear it. Well, that'll be that'll be the the janitor, right? 
Is that Artie singing? He's got his headphone. He's got his headphones in. Oh wait, hang on. Is the director? Is the elevator downstairs? Oh, the elevator's below us. <gasps> oh, I need to. I need to remember that I've got clearance level one on stuff as well, but unfortunately it doesn't mark any of those doors on the map, so I'll need to like go through previous areas and have a look for all those clearance level 1 doors. It is arty. Ooh, time to work. Because he was the one that was like, ah, I recommended you for the job or whatever. Uh, so you should go here, blah, blah, blah. Interesting. So he's going to be the one to, he's going to be the one to, um, <laughs> help us get into places. I wonder if there's any clearance level one doors in this area. We'll just proceed. We'll just proceed for now. I'm not sure what will be in those clearance level doors, but if we come across them, we'll be sure to, be sure to open them. Uh... Okay, we've got out of order sections. Let's go to the maintenance sector. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. She's correct. <laughs> the Walkman is it says Pony instead of Sony. <laughs> kind of your official Sony branded Walkman in this game. It's a it's a Pony Walkman. He's helping us out though. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is that Ati is, guiding me too? That is true. Because we did speak to him, and then after we spoke to him, his painting had moved and it showed an elevator. Janitor is the most important character in this confirmed. Everything is brand new and exciting. Clearance level 2, god damn it. NSC control room. Yeah, I'm assuming, if anything, uh, can, like the clearance level doors would probably contain like bonus stuff, maybe some documents or some upgrade materials and stuff. So the we'll, we'll see. Override is right there in the control room. How do we get there? I was wondering if I could, like, stealth from behind. Control point cleansed. How do we do how do we melee again? I already forgot. Melee with Y. Hiya! Um through this way.
Don't mess with me, boy. I'll get you. The combat is so good. I'm excited to learn more abilities as well. That'll be a lot of fun. Janitor's office. Alright, hold on. Oh, I can hear the music playing. Uh, let me just check down here just to make sure. What is this room? Ventilation. Clearance level four. Yeah, Auntie's a very interesting character. I'm very interested to learn. Um, very curious about him and how uh, what role he's going to play. What's down that way? New mission: a merry chase. Ooh, hang on. Invest in this is a side mission? Investigate the strange light in the break room. Um, missions. Jesse learns of another object of power, a merry-go-round horse below the break room. What? Maybe I shouldn't have looked at the mission description immediately. Because where the fuck is that merry-go-round? Oh! God. Cleanse the merry-go-round horse, object of power. What the fuck? Ugh, this place makes me nauseous. We got a horse, baby. Let's go. An object of power. It is a he horse. Got down here. Someone just hops on a merry-go-round one day and they're like, boom, boom. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? <laughs> True. Get cleansed. Use evade. Ooh, yo! Boom, boom. Yes. Oh, that's good. Oops, I, I think I got hit. Oh, I got definitely got hit that time. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. Evade ability. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan. If I can, if I'm, if I can make it through, I'm, I'm very into. I'm. I'm very into this one. <laughs> what the fuck? Stop! Dude, I'm getting like right onto the edge of it. <laughs> How am I this bad? Please. Like. Thank you. Oh, you could do it in the air! Oh, that's so sick! Ah! <laughs> Patience! Oh, that's so sick. So I'm getting too excited. That's so cool. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Are they what are they, what are they just watching? Hmm. They're immune to Jesse's attacks. Gold enemies use B to safely avoid Oh, okay. Boom. 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 Ah, oh, this is so much fun. Boom. Boom. Cool. Got crushed a couple of times. It's all part of the learning experience. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so you find, like, you'll find, like, little side ones that pop up to get more abilities. Oh, that is nice. Um, we also got, like, what is this? Said ability points? A bunch more of this. Health recovery per element pickup, energy, not energy cost, health plus 17. We're currently just running with the health plus 19%, uh, which I think is pretty good. Um, weapon mods, which is damage against armor is 46, which is nice. I think we'll keep that as well. We've got six ability points. I think that's what that thing must be in the top right, but I'm not sure what to do with that yet. Because we've got stuff that can be unlocked by upgrading, but we haven't found or been introduced to that yet, I don't think. Uh, case files, merry-go-round horse, object of power. 
Objects should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-round ride, the pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when blank its path. This object is currently bound by blank. Interesting, because I'm pretty sure it's bound to like, it's bound to like a, a person or an individual, right? Because it has uh, like the hotline is bound to direct a trench. The floppy disk is bound to blank. The service weapon is now bound to well, like me. Right. Um, the object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local Blank reported that the rides would move on their own and they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local Blanks were found dead at the scene. The object attacked Agent Blank by Blank. Agents invoked Formula C.5 to Blank the object long enough to Blank. Acquisition date 1998. Containment location redacted. Crazy. Oh, this is great. Not only is it good combat, but it's like good movement and traversal. Oh. <laughs> My character wouldn't move. Like, I was trying to move, but I was like, I guess I was supposed to just fall through the middle. I was just stuck there. Hidden location discovered. Another ability point. Why is kid stuff so creepy indeed? Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> Get that shit away from me. Fuck. Airplane. The fucking Oh my god. That's just that's just creepy shit, dude. Meg's uh Meg knows what's up. She's just like It's an alien dimension, the astral plane. Oh, you've got a poster of yourself on the door, Artie. He's his own biggest fan. That's so weird. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Sadana. It happened in the last drop. I truly need an assistant. Funny thing is, I've been a janitor. I'm more at home in that role than as the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just around the corner. 
But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's gonna be more than that. Yaha, yeah, 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 you think there's a dog buried in this? I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. Now, Magnus, I'm going that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant, Perkele. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a fart in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. <laughs> Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow? But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. The work's on the task board here. You can do later, when you have time. Vacation? Right. Yes, no one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now, so you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. Hmm. What are you hiding, old man? Tell me your secrets! Finland. For holidays. I guess that's where he's going. Travel to Finland. <laughs> Guys, what's the bet that he's wanting to go to Finland? Hmm? I mean, look. Definitely seems that way. What a mess. Burn the trash. Burn the trash. Throw it in the fire. Burn it all. Burn it into a reindeer. Not into a moose. Man, uh, I'm just uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it, Artie. I'm not gonna question you at all. You seem nice. You're a pleasant gentleman. You've helped me out, but there's definitely more to you. It's not that I don't trust you. It's that you know more. It's time for a coffee break. Okay, so we need to go to... We don't have clearance level 2 yet. Oh, the post is gone. Interesting. Weird. Where the fuck do I... So where do I need to go? So I need to go... Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a wall here. There's a wall behind this painting. I can see it on the map. How weird. I can also see the, the marks on the wall where this pa pathway would open up. Archie, can you open the door for me, please? <laughs> You're going to make me go the long way around, aren't you? Because we, uh, we don't have clearance level 2 yet, do we? Oh, we do have clearance level two. What am I talking about? He gave us the cl he gave us clearance level two. All right, cool. Da 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 da. Good. <laughs> okay, he gave us clearance level two. Cool. Shortcut activated. Clearance level two. Not bad. And now we can proceed where I need to go. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. 
too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. Okay, director, I got you. Uh, collectibles, multimedia. Um, we got the Threshold Kids Astral Plane. I wonder if we got the full video there when we were watching it, or if it's longer. I feel like we got the set. I feel like we got the whole thing. You can't fast forward. You can't fast forward. I think we definitely watched the whole thing there. That felt like it was a minute and forty seconds. But we got a new one, a new communication from Trench for Northmore. The director before him. Northmore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. Northmore was all about power. A man like an explosion. Hungry for authority, for order, for more, until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Northmore, Northmore, Northmore. Interesting. Okay. Bada bing bada boom, take me down please. I want to shoot some things with the, my cool ass gun. Oh, my gun disappeared. <laughs> I can't shoot things while I'm on the elevator. Alright, my gun's back. Back to shooting things with amazing destructible physics. Look how satisfying it is to shoot wood. And the way that it breaks. Alright, sorry. It's just immensely satisfying. Correspondence from Arish. Escaped object of power. Let's have a read. An object of power escaped the uh, Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. See if it, So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse sipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Well, uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore, Simon. I found it. It's mine now. Well, bam! Well, bam! The NSC power plant. Alright, everyone here is normal. Good. I thought I was about to enter a fight immediately, but they don't look like they've been corrupted with the hiss, so that's cool. Knock, knock. That's good. There's no clock. Where the clock at? Are we supposed to know what time it is in here when all the time is broken? This is so cool to look at. Uh, that's ventilation. Dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arishi. He's just inside. He'll help you. I'm the director. You don't talk trash to me, please. Ma'am! Hey! Ma'am! FBC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Don't you know who I am, sir? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on, you're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. <laughs> Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, 
It's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and my crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> Uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. Smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> <laughs> Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling it? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. So, the thing on his chest, the HRA, and uh, so he, uh, Darling Singh, he only had, Darling Singh, he only had one large scale one. That's the one that's in the main lobby, right? At the beginning of the game that we entered, it was like the circle right above the thing. So it's the, the large scale HRA is like at the front door, I think. Irish security matters. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Artie, if someone in the se sector is asking about Artie, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. Uh, hello. Just let Artie do his day-to-day -day stuff, okay? Don't interview with his routine. Definitely don't cancel his holiday. Oh, thanks, Frank. Real positive. Yeah, Frank. Uh, we'll talk to Arish in a sec, because he also has questions to answer, I guess. Hello. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest, these are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah, it's all part of the job. <laughs> what do you know about the service weapon? Not much, I think it's director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and, 
It looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. It looks different, okay. Arty. Do you know this Arty guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here. If you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Interesting. I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. Interesting. The mystery of Artie continues. Um, still need to get to the furnace chamber. I should probably, because... Hang on. We need to... We also need to do this. But where is this on the map? Okay, those are in those places. Okay. Let's try and do this furnace thing first. Cleanse this control point, or claim this control point while we're here. So it should be safe to navigate this area because there's people here. And we'll just try and get, um... What the fuck? I said it should be safe here! What the fuck is that? Why are they walking backwards? Ah! Oh, they explode! Ah! Get away from me! Me trying to me trying to get up close to fucking melee them and they fucking explode. I'm smart. So yeah, it'll be fine. I'll just, uh... I'll just... You know, make two. That's what I have, apparently. Alright, this is to the furnace. Furnace chamber. Uh, clever. Takes us to the coolant pumps. So I want to go this way to the furnace. Did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? Uh, I would say so. Yay! Seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then that's I'll get what Ati gets. All right, Ati. 
Let's throw you, let's throw your radioactive garbage into the furnace. Yep. I don't want that. I want this. You reckon I could yeet it over the top, or do I have to go up? Do I have to go up? How do we get? I think I gotta just chuck it on over. Yeah. Oh, there is a staircase right here. Oops. There's a staircase. That probably would have been the one. Is there any more d down here? This one. Let me get this as well. Yeah. Mail tube complaint. Let's go up the stairs. Well, it's a good thing this doesn't blow up if it doesn't make contact with the furnace. There it is. You don't think I'm getting fucking radioactive poisoning from this? <laughs> just fucking going up closer, just chucking it in there? Uh, I'll investigate that after. Oh, there it is. Up there. Oh, shit. It is here. There's a door there as well. And, okay. Come here. He gone! of the parakinesiology department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace <coughs> can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's a sentient force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh, sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. Bruh. That thing ain't talking. Sorry, but only you can hear that. Eat tube! I mean, it might, it probably is. In some way, shape, or form. Sentient? I wouldn't even be surprised. Um, research and records. His charged. Okay, so these are the explosive ones. The his charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption. His charged display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charged is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HR rays. The his charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the his capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the his charged so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. <coughs> Correspondence. Mail tube complaint. Hey, Boza. Get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift of, or a threshold or some such fuckery that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit, Rodriguez. And then that's the multimedia that we just got, the furnace research. Okay. Time to go fix the coolant pumps and the energy converters as well. 
so I guess if we go back to uh, if we go back to Artie's room and we check the task board, there'll be like other stuff to look into, I guess. Other jobs. Oh, this place is gonna come down. Oh shit. To your death, sir. NSC coolant pumps. Bro, bro. go to shit. Fix, Fix it, it fast. fast. If the plant goes boom. We can throw the spoon the core. Do not blow me up. So I need to look for the, like, more things. There we go. More of these. Shit. Oh. Not now. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. The clog? You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He's trying to sneak in. We got him caught with his hand in the fish trap. Get rid of him. <clears throat> oh, God. Ah! Great, I just almost died in one hit for that. Disgusting. What the hell is that? Oh, that's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Oh, okay, there's more. Oh, that's that's nice. This is good. Love this. This is great. Not at all absolutely putrid and disgusting. This is great. I love this so much. Let's just keep doing this. Mm-mm. Tasty. Just what I wanted. Don't get, don't even get close to it. I'm just gonna play this level almost dead because of the first. If I got, I just got almost destroyed immediately. Good. Okay. Oh! Oh, I always thought I almost just fell into a hole. I'm like, ah! I don't like that sound. What's the deal with the, the different music that we keep hearing in different spots all the time? It's so interesting. What does it mean? Sometimes we hear like Artie music, sometimes we hear elevator music. What the hell's going on? We got random explosions going on everywhere. Oh, there's the other one up there. Cool. This box will not do. This one. 
stop! Give me the, give me the fucking. Why would I, give me the box right in front of me, but. Bro, what the fuck? Give me the box. Give me the power box, please. Thank you. A clog complaint. Why am I not surprised? Eat my trash! Accuracy. Actually. Okay, with that out of the way, I can now read the next collectible. <clears throat> We've got correspondence, which was a complaint about the clog. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? Where does it keep coming from? Why the hell does Artie keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. I guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. <laughs> Extreme strength. So Artie... Oh. What happened? Um, so Artie knows like what it is in a weird way, I guess. Uh, shit. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Oh! 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 That's what's happening! <laughs> Troop said Klaus Kopak. We got someone at the elevator. Shit. Eat my shit. God damn it. Friendly, we had some of that nuclear waste. Ooh, that was not... Dude, the fact that you almost get killed in one shot in this game, in combat, is nuts. Like, no joke. He smacked me once, and I lost all of my health. God damn. Eat concrete. Oh. And now, apparently, he just can't even hit me at all. Ah! I ate, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Information on the Hiss Trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in the preparation for the worst. As a result of their role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FBC-issued armor, the Hiss resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that, to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Nice, so if we come across a grenade launching one, uh, we can have some fun there. Throw it back to them. Throw it on back. Okay, time to fix the NSC energy converters. Oh shit. Oh, you have allies. What the hell? That's so good. They actually, like, are in combat. That's so sick. So I thought these areas would be safe because there was NPCs involved. I, how wrong I am. Oh, don't, don't aim at me. You're aiming the wrong way, lady. Why are you looking the wrong way? They're all behind you. Oh my god, have my pallet! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, 
Are you even doing anything to help me here? Because I am single-handedly wiping these bad boys out. Shoot rockets at me, I dare you. I mean, on the plus side, she's not losing any health, so... I'm fine with that. Melee battle. Oh, I'm gonna die. That rocket dodge. Ah, I'm gonna die! They're explosive! <laughs> Leave me alone! This is so fucking chaotic, dude. Fuck! You are helping so much. Oh shit, you've actually taken damage this time. Fuck me. How about that? That was insane. How are you doing? Oh my god. Alright. Packages in pipe C through F. Now. Oh, I beat the I beat the clog. The clog's dead. Ah, uh, this is how I was going to look at this. I was like, I have a feeling that abilities are gonna be on. I have a feeling that abilities are gonna be at these things. We haven't fast traveled much. We've barely even used it to be honest. So that's why these things haven't even uh, presented themselves to us yet. So let's have a look at the abilities. So we've gotten this far. I think it's about time we spent our ability points. Don't you think? Um, we're going to unlock health. We're going to unlock energy. We're going to unlock melee. I think it's good to just across the board do these. So this is good. Additional weapon form slot. Look, now we can actually have the game uh, abilities open up to us. 25% <laughs> to launch damage. Good. Uh, let's do health once again. This costs three points, but I need more health. We've just been running it on hard mode, oh, clearly. <laughs> no upgrade run, intentionally. But yeah, we, we've, uh, it's, it mainly is just because I've literally just, like, opened up control points and gone, cool, this is fast travel, and then paid it no mind instead of like you know I've, we've just been traveling normally um and then i've been like oh we're getting like these points and i don't know where to use them and like over time like hmm, i feel like maybe these control points are maybe a little bit more um a little bit more than what um we're being led to believe um i'll also give myself oh we need three for that okay Launching grenades and rockets back at the enemy is actually a locked ability that we need to unlock as well. So we need to actually do launch damage to then do that. Launch basic enemies when their health is low. Large enemies, objects, and launch up to three objects. Oh, this is so good. Uh, in that case, we're going to do this because we'll be going up against rockets and grenades soon. So once I get more ability points, we'll do that. I'm not sure what we're doing with, I believe it's called Essence, because it says we need 30,000 Essence to reset abilities. I'm not sure what else we can spend it on, but um, let's have a look, because it might be in here. It is in here, there you go. Okay, so you can, this is what all of those things that we've been picking up are for. We can make mods, construct random personal mods and random weapon mods. Um, Upgrade to enable higher tier mods. Ah, oh, cool. Let's do that because we don't need common ones. Okay. And then we need an astral blip if we want to upgrade it to another level. Cool. Weapon forms. Upgrade grip. Construct spin. Construct shatter. Second mod slot and increase uh, base weapon damage. Spin has a generous magazine and a high rate of fire best used in controlled bursts. And Shatter has a high stopping power with a scatter shot that devastates grouped enemies at close range. So it's like a shotgun version of it. Um, interesting. Let's make, uh, let's make that. New weapon form constructed. Cool. So that's what we spend our essence on. I like it. I'm a fan. Um, interesting. What's board countermeasures? 
Oh, so these are the countermeasures that they provide as well. So I didn't. I thought that you might have just found these throughout the world over time, but apparently you pick them up here. Kill enemies in charge mode. Okay, and you get random what mods and materials. Interesting. Uh, switch weapon form with X. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so cool. And you can switch while aiming. And it's so instantaneous too. Oh, that's sick. Alright. Actually, you know, actually figuring out how the game works now. That's good. Uh, that damage against enemy armor, I think, really is just going to be the best one, you know. Uh, scatter, we can put on a bunch of these. Projectile spread, reload speed, damage. Honestly, I might just go for damage straight away. <clears throat> and personal mods. The health recovery might be decent instead of just 20, but 20% 20 health, 20% health, come on. It's pretty good. Wonderful, all right. More of an understanding on control points achieved. Enlightenment gained. Let's have a look at one of these countermeasures. It has progress zero out of five, so you have to run it like five times. Let's try this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you have to select them. Oh, and you can only select three at a time. Ah, so you pick these up and then you get a reward. So you have to kill, I thought this might've been us going into the astral plane and having to do stuff, but we just kill enemies, kill enemies, kill enemies. All right, we don't have, um, kill his rangers in the executive sector using shatter. You may enjoy execute smile this measure. Smile not guaranteed. Kill enemies, service weapon in surge mode. Um cool. So we have grip shatter. Cool. Let's give that a use. I think this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. Uh, and we'll head to our next area of the plant for the energy converters. I think we No, we're good. Energy converters, let's have a look. Ooh, alright, let's try this shit out. I am! <laughs> I am! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Are you seeing this shit? Wham! Bam! That one's flying! That's like Tomasi. Holy shit, dude. It sounds so good as well. Just the sounds are amazing. There's a full area to explore, especially with all this shit, so... It makes me very curious. That's gonna stay locked. I just don't want to miss, uh, like it's going to happen, but I don't want to, I don't want to, like, miss collectibles and stuff that I can pick up to learn about this world. Just hold together a little longer. You guys met my friend Shotgun? It was great. God damn. Still trying to figure out if there's a way to like cleanse these rooms and go in them, but I haven't quite figured that one out yet.
it's fried up. Fix it before the old trick man's inside the plant has to see. I love that if there's nothing in range to pick up, you just actually pick up the floor. Like, that's such a cool way to keep the ability relevant. But bam! I don't have the ability to throw back these rockets yet, man, but I'll, I'll get there, I promise. Alright, I need the power. Give me that. I don't. The fact that even just like the the combat just normally like in the base game like without upgrading anything is fun and then you start upgrading shit and getting new abilities and it's just like holy shit movement is great and this shit is cool as fuck oh there you go uh no where's the other is there another one ah, there it is it's right there come on Let's go lift the lockdown. He's still alive. Get him. Get him. Throw shit at him. Trying to destroy the, uh, oh god, I'm trying to destroy the, uh, barrier, it ain't working. Where's this guy? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where the fuck did he go? Interesting. Oh, there you are. Fucking... Ah! Oh, that's fucking rude. Alright, we out of here. Directorial lockdown can be lifted. So many places to go in this game. Like, location-wise, there's like, there's a lot to get into. Alright, we're actually gonna fast we'll fast travel. We'll use it. So we'll fast travel back to power part place, I guess. Dude, that was that was quick. I was expecting to go into a loading screen. That was so fast. Um I need to Uh the NSC control room. So I actually needed to go back up that way again. I thought it was I thought it was here with this guy. Does he have any updates for me? Then? Crew feels a lot safer when you're around. That's it. Okay. I should be going. Right. You got to lock down the lift. Okay. Central maintenance. This way. This way? No, it takes us. I get to the control room. I think I can get to the control room from the energy converters. Actually, hold on. Bye -bye. 
Oh, hang on. NSC control room. Oh, this is now open. The door that was closed. We get in the elevator. Okay. Elevator. Black Rock Quarry. It's the Black Rock Quarry. Okay, the control room. Wait, fuck. What? Yeah. It says that we're on level two. And then, but it says that the control room. Am I? I'm being thrown for a loop here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's a. It's an elevator opens on both sides. Doop. Okay. <laughs> Upcoming game reminder. Next game is Wednesday at 8, usual spot. Hazard owes me 20. Arish. Um, Arish still on a fucking winning streak. Someone please figure out how he's cheating. Thompson. Suspended for a game because of that shady dealing incident. Guy, I owe you 60. I brought beers last time, so it's uh, Hepston Stoll's turn. Remus. Now we're in the control room. Oh, God. Don't you know who I am? What I'm capable of? Waboom! Exactly. I didn't think so. Oh, crafty. Exactly. Fucking exactly. Get cleansed, baby! I guess it like. We came here to do. I guess it like analyzes me. Uh, we got a hot line call for the lockdown. So much is expected from the director. The responsibility, the privilege, to steer the bureau into dangerous waters and safely out again. To inspire and lead its people. To protect them. The board is there to advise you, but they want things in return. You hold all this in your old, trembling hands. I had to lose everything before I could see the Bureau is the Director's life. There's no room for anything else. If the forces contained here escaped, we'd be dragged back into an age of superstition, terror, death. Assuming you think we ever really left that behind. Any emergency, any major containment breach, and the lockdown goes into effect. I implemented this security measure in my first years as director. I knew we were vulnerable. I'd personally seen the cost of sloppiness. I made sure the internal lockdown could only be lifted by a directorial override, only to be used when the director is confident the sectors are safe to be opened again. This way, the director is the last line of defense. And if I screw up, it's on me. And me alone. Cool. Let's get this shit unlocked. Oh, it's also a key. That's so cool. That's awesome. Lockdown lifted, baby. That's it. The other sector should be open now. I think it's time I told Emily why I'm here. I'll risk it. 
Oh wow. We should get to know each other. You two should get to know each other, she says. Okay. Fuck me. Um we gotta go to Central Executive. Bam. Actually making use of fast travel now. Jesse, you made it. And you lifted the internal lockdown. Let's talk, Emily. Yes, of course. Listen, Emily. Screw it. Just tell her. I haven't been completely honest. I have a younger brother, Dylan. When we were kids, we found an old slide projector in Ordinary's landfill. The slides created doorways to other places. Bad things happened. Came through. That's all she gets. The rest stays locked inside. But we found help. Through one of the doorways, we met something. A being. A being? What kind of being? It's hard to describe, but it... She helped us. We managed to turn the projector off. The bad things that came through the doorways... were gone. After that, your people came. Tried to grab us. I ran away. They got Dylan. I left him behind. Bureau agents took your brother? Yes. He covered it up. No one believed me. I just want to find Dylan. I've been looking for him ever since. What happened to the slide projector? It sounds like another object of power. I thought you took it. The Bureau. Along with Dylan. I've never heard of it, but around here, I assume everything's classified. You know, I looked into the ordinary AWE case files after you mentioned it. Trench and Darling were both involved. A large area of the containment sector was reserved for it. The case hasn't been active for a long time. I have no idea if anything's still there. Can you tell me more about this being you found? Let's hope you two get along. She's been with me ever since Ordinary. In my head. She led me to you. I call her... Polaris. As in, a guiding star. Did Polaris know about the Hiss? If she got you in here, in spite of the lockdown, she's very powerful. Which may help explain your test results. Your readings are incredible, Jesse. Now, cross-referencing them with the database, I found two matches in Darling's old classified files. Unfortunately, I can't access them beyond the file codes. But one was P6, referring to a prime candidate for a potential future bureau director. Uh, this was logged years ago. Dylan. Is that Dylan? The other match is on something called Hedron, which must be connected to these Hedron resonance amplifiers somehow. All I know is that Marshall went to the research sector to secure the HRA production after the his first attacked. So, Marshall seems like our best lead on Dylan. I need to go after her. How can I get to the research sector? Use my keycard. The sector elevator will take you there. Marshall is the next step. What Emily told me about ordinary, my powers being connected to things in the Bureau's past, I am so close to something. Do you feel it? Something's coming. We take turns to come for a visit. I helped you. You owe me now. 
and when time comes, I will come calling. Right. Mission completed for directorial override. New mission, Old Boys Club. And maintenance, major targets. Huh. Uh, so the voice in her head or who she's referencing or talking to is not us at all, but Polaris, which is a being that came through one of the slides. Interesting. It le leads you on to believe that you're the one that's being spoken to, but it's a, it's a, a female being by the name of Polaris. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, strange. How interesting is the name like being like the actual term like human being a being came through here it's just like an unidentifiable thing when you call something a being it's very 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 curious uh so we do have some uh mission briefings today we're going to find marshall um also i think that's that might be a timed mission it has like a time it has like a timer uh, you can't see it. It says 1913. Uh, I don't know if that's a, like a countdown of like 20 minutes or something. Uh, so go to the NSC energy converters. Uh, but we've also got collectibles. We've got another hotline, um, hotline contact from the board about the hiss. The hiss spread is searching for transmission speakers to corrupt chaos. The astral plane is a conflux switchboard. The hiss will come for us all. You must stop. Shut up them. Interesting. Cool. Well, with that one, guys, completing that uh, that mission, that uh, will end it here. That will be the end of, of this episode. Next time I'll jump into these next missions that have popped up and we'll have a look at that. I've got much more of a handle on uh, abilities and leveling up and spending our resources now and also uh, how long missions are and how missions seem to operate is uh, the end of a mission seems to be reconnecting with Emily and having a chat about stuff uh, and then we can proceed into the into the next mission. So we're figuring out the flow of the game uh, but the story is super, super enticing and I can't wait to continue. So guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of Control, and I will see you next time.